Okay, now that I got the um, uh, bottom base plate mount mounted to the actual motor, I'm going to go ahead and what I've already done is I've just made some paper templates. You know, I always make uh, paper templates, it's an old just pattern maker trick. You know, it just gets everything precise. That one was sitting there and this one uh, is sitting here. It's lined up with that bolt hole here and this plate here. So that will sit like so. And you can see I've notched out for the flywheel, same as on the bottom there. So we've got to notch out a little bit more here and maybe here. Then I can flip this around and do the other side. Um, you know, I'm going to do a step by step on how I actually do everything. Um, I don't want to just skip stuff and just say, oh, this, I just did this and that. I'm going to show you actually how it's done. And the reason I'll put it in, you know, the reason I'm using this bike, I was going to actually restore this pushy. Um, but then I kind of thought about it. It's nothing really special. It's not like it's worth a whole bunch of money. You know, it's not like a PK ripper frame or nothing. Um, it's just made by Apollo. You know, I, I tried to search it, tried to Google it. Nothing really came up. It's not worth much. Not really anything at all. You know. Anyway, back to the frame. Uh, sorry, the engine. Um, I've still got to figure out a spindle drive system for it. Think about taking something like that but on a way smaller scale uh, putting a piece of plate over one end like so and then um, center punching it um, so it's uh, centered then grinding around it and making my own special spindle um, you know when you do this type of work there's always just some custom stuff you need to do you know it's not this stuff's not meant to go on push bikes it's meant to cut grass anyway I'm gonna get that other bracket cut